Yo, what is up you two? My name is Aaron and today I have a threesome of life stories for you. Yes, we have three life stories. They're relatively short, so I think I can condense them down into one video. They all have to do about cars, so let's get right into it. So, the first one is whenever I got lost with pizza. That's a great one because, you know, if you're going to get lost, what's better to get lost with than pizza? But I did not technically get lost. Let me tell you exactly how this happened, right? So I went out to get pizza. It was like late at night and I just wanted some pizza. So I went out to Pizza Hut, drove you know through town the long way there so it can cook. However, whenever you leave, there is a short way to get back to my house and that is taking the highway and or the interstate, I guess you could say. But if you miss my exit, there's about a 40, 45 minute drive going the speed, well, it's about an hour going the actual speed limit to go around to the next exit and come back the opposite way. Or you could go on that and drive like two hours to three to get to my house. So no good, right? Past the exit. You know, I was playing on my watch, not really playing, I was changing the song on my watch and it was night, I wasn't really paying attention, just listening to music. And I like I look at my watch and I look up and I look to the left or to the right and there's the exit sign and yes, I pass it. And I'm I'm like, oh no. Just I know I'm gonna have like two hours ahead of me and driving. Like I'm just I'm so mad at this point and if you're thinking like, well, why don't you turn around and go on the other side of the road? You really can't. If It's like a V-shape of grass. And the only like turnaround place is a cop turnaround place. Only where cops can go and turn around. And if you're caught there, you can get a ticket. So that's not good at all. So I went all the way up to the top, ate my pizza, and got, you know, I was happy. I was like, hey, I'll just eat my pizza. I'm at the top. Very long drive ahead. And I just sat there on the side of the road, ate my pizza, and went back home. Definitely not the night I had planned, but hey, it worked out. Next up, ants in my car. So I went home, and well, not home, I was going home, and I went over to a family's house that is going on vacation during this time, and I got their newspaper that is delivered in their mailbox. And their mail also, newspaper mail, but the newspaper is the big thing in this story, right? So it's been a day. I, I passed I passed it off a few days so I could come home and play COD, didn't have to go and get their mail. And I came, got their mail, threw it into my seat, my passenger seat, and I'm just driving down the road ready to get home, right? And out of the corner of my eye, I look and my entire seat is black. And what is it? Ants. Ants were inside of the newspaper, huge nest of them. And they just got all over my seat. So I had to end up going and putting a fogger into my car, a vacuum, and just really having to clean out all those ants to make sure every single thing was dead and gone. Worst experience ever by far in a car. And our last one is not really, um, uh, I guess it is a life story, but because I experienced it, but I watched the best live stream ever one time. And it was literally a guy driving. He had a DSLR mounted up to his window and ran straight into the laptop. And he had Wi-Fi in car. That's like a new thing now. And I guess it's kind of standard on pretty much any Chevrolet vehicle or like higher class. And actually, I guess now you can get it for any vehicle. But um, at the time it was that. And he literally just chatted with us as he drove and in the description or in the chat we just told him like hey take a right up here or like the next stop sign make a left or the next two lights and we just took him we drove him somewhere in his own car we called the shots and he was just like okay and he went as soon as he saw the chat he made that and you just got to see it come to life and i think that was the coolest thing ever not technically a life story but it was because I got to experience that and I got to tell a guy where to go on the road. That's pretty cool. There wasn't too many people in there. In fact, there's only like me and three or four other people. And it was just me and about another guy or so telling him what directions to go. And I, I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Sub if you're new here. Peace.